hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so first and foremost i like to wish you guys a happy new year i feel like 2023 is the year for good financial decisions and i didn't tweet this by chance last year i'm a person who really feels like you need to continuously manifest things and not float throughout the year this is obviously the first official video of the year and i just really decided that since it is january i really feel like last year was for bad decision making i think that since this is january the start of a new year it's only best for us to just create our vision boards and with that being said i think it's also important for you to have a financial plan and i feel like as much as we would have all these other goals for the other areas of our lives i think it's very much important for us not to downplay the financial side of it i feel like this year is the year for financial growth for financial freedom all of it so without any further ado let's just jump in to today's video i'm pretty much going to be helping you guys um make good financial decisions for the year 2023 and i will do so with sharing my three tips one is for you to have financial goals have a financial planner you don't need to pay for this because i know that there's a lot of scammers out there okay canva does have templates that you can use in order for you to make your budget so why are you not canva is the girl that you think she is she definitely has got your back so i really feel like it's very important guys to also understand that as the years progress you don't need to have a big purchase each and every single year you don't have to buy a car this year or buy a property the next year buy i don't know what in the following year i just really feel like different years are dedicated to different things and yes there are years that you could have big purchases and years that you can have those splurges but i also feel like as much as we put emphasis on that the way we would want to accomplish or get property and all these assets and all of that i think it's also important for us to just have years dedicated to you paying off your debt years dedicated to you having maybe savings or just try by all means to just focus on having some passive income be it you working on having some form of investments maybe you just trying to invest more on dividends you just want to invest more like an investment property you just want to grow your investments maybe tax-free savings which by the way should not exceed thirty six thousand for the year which we will get to it in another video but i'm just saying uh, i'm just really saying you know I'm just saying and it's very important for you to also establish what your financial goals are in terms of short-term goals and long-term goals all of this leads us to the second tip the second tip is for you to be disciplined and be consistent i really feel like a lot of us wouldn't be paying as much as you are for financial advisory certain things you can do by yourself a lot of people also feel i think a lot of us also kind of feel that oh a lot of money would solve my problems or oh, me winning the lottery would save uh, would solve my problems but i need you guys to understand that when it comes to financial affairs it's not about the money it's not about you getting a million and this can solve my problem. It's not about that. I feel like you need to understand that when it comes to money, one, money does not require you to be impulsive. That's number one. And that's why I really get so shocked when I watch all these shows, I blew it and listening to all these crazy stories because how? <laughs> how? Blowing that amount of money in a year? In two weeks, three weeks? Huh? scary i don't want to lie it's very scary i need you guys to understand that money doesn't require you to be impulsive like money requires you to be very logical and very objective like you just really need to make your decisions prior and for you to be consistent with them is that it's really not about the amount that you earn it's more about the mindset that is why i started this video with saying that you need to have financial goals for this year because i think it's always important for you to have something to remember or have something that you're working towards and see it so you need to be very realistic with the goals that you are setting do not be setting goals that are insanely above your salary or the amount that you earn because i know that some people could be getting a salary and still be getting passive income that you should not be a person to make um what's the word to make plans on an amount that you have not received yet and i feel like that's the biggest mistake that people make i think as a person you need to understand that this is how much i have and you need to work around what you currently have do not make plans on amounts that you have not received yet because if you do not receive it what then 
I'm just asking. So let's get to the final tip. So I feel like the final tip is obviously going to be the longest one, but like I said, it's probably, I mean, you've guessed it. I feel like a financial decisions video or how to make good financial decisions video or a financial video can never be a financial video without me mentioning this or without anyone actually touching on this topic. The last tip that I pretty much have is for you to have a very comprehensive budget. I feel like this is the most important thing each and every single month. Uh, maybe you could even do it weekly. I don't know. Whichever works for you can do it monthly. You can do it weekly, but you just need to have a very comprehensive budget in order for you to be able to accomplish these big goals because i'm a firm believer that you need to take baby steps in order for you to accomplish this big picture that you have in mind so in order for you to get to those big financial goals that you have in mind you obviously need to take baby steps and this is where budgeting comes in this is where you need to start budgeting this is where you need to sit down and yes canva does have templates for this so please do not let anyone scam you into creating budgets for you and like i said a lot of things that you guys pay for you can honestly do for yourself like you would be saving so much if you could literally just stop being lazy and start doing things yourself i think it's pretty much important for us as people to see where exactly our money is going and like i said working with money guys when you when when you see this thing the thing is with the numbers game that money does not require you to be impulsive and i'm saying this again because i i feel like as people we just tend to have a surplus which isn't a surplus but to you it seems like okay i have a lot of money somehow it's not a lot of money it's just that you haven't planned or you just don't have plans for that amount of money and i just truly really feel like you really need to understand where your money is going to that's number one and i feel like in this part of this this tip i'm really going to get into details into helping you guys make proper budgets because i know sometimes you tend to get overwhelmed because you don't know where to start and what it is that you need to do so i'll help you with that so with budgeting i feel like the most useful or the most useful thing that you could possibly do is use the 50 30 and the 20 rule so i'll explain all of that in details right so the 50 percent so basically this is me saying 50 percent of your income and i'm speaking about your net so by net i mean after tax so i'm speaking about 50 percent of your income after tax in your joint income after tax however way you get it yes so 50 percent of that amount is going to cater for your needs i know that we're taking this back to ems days because you never thought you would need maslow's hierarchy of needs ever in your life i'm here to shock you so uh 50 of your salary needs to cater for your needs and by needs i mean shelter if you are a person who's obviously paying for your rent yeah probably if maybe you're a person who's paying for rent or maybe you're paying for some form of installment towards your bond in the house that you live in or whatever that's basically going to cater for that so 50 percent of that cater caters for your shelter it caters for your utilities transportation and food of course groceries if you are living alone and maybe if you're living with your family i know that maybe black tags can come in here because technically you're and I mean it in a sense that if you are playing, paying black tax at home to just help out with like groceries and stuff like that, then I feel like that could also form part of this 50% because um, what could we say? So pretty much clothing, but I also feel like clothing is really not much of a necessity. But I mean, it is a need, but I really feel like there's people who just don't have that self-control. They just splurge on clothing unnecessarily. So if you fall under that category, I'm not talking about you. I'm really speaking about when you genuinely need clothes. Like these are the clothes that you need. And yeah, so, so basically 50% basically caters for your needs. The things that you know you cannot live without, like you need to pay for that thing. Maybe even paying for your car installment or whatever it is like insurance your health basically just paying for like insurance health and all sorts of things whatever it is that you consider as a need in your life and this is just me saying be honest with yourself don't say that you need it knowing very well that it's the want. i don't want to take this back to grade 8 ems okay i, I don't i don't go on to the 30 percent 30 percent caters for your wants right so this could be you going out you traveling which i do feel that if you are a person who is saving towards traveling 
and you just don't know where to go you want to go to thailand at some point in time you want to go to bali you want to go to all these places this 30 percent of your salary needs to cater for your savings towards traveling so if you're a person who also likes grooving and all of that 30 percent of your salary needs to cater for that and yes if you're a person who also likes clothing 30 percent of your salary needs to cater for that so if you're a person who really likes splurging you like fragrances you like all sorts of things that's where the 30 percent goes to so basically the 30 percent caters for your wants like whatever it is that you feel like i'm a person who really loves going to restaurants but i've honestly decided that i'm just going to tone down on that because i just feel like i've been splurging unnecessarily and there's food at home you know when our parents used to say there's food at home they weren't joking bro like there's food at home i feel like now i'm just at a point in my life that if i am going to go out i'd rather go out and just have an experience like maybe something that i haven't done before like maybe just use that amount of money that i would have spent at a restaurant for like activities or something because i just feel like i'm just at that age now where i just want to explore and experience so i think it's better that your money goes there rather than just something that wouldn't matter so basically 30% of your salary caters for your wants whatever it is that you deem as want maybe going out takeaways um what else takeaways traveling like i said maybe you want to go on a staycation or vacation you're trying to save for that that's where this these all these wants come from in this 30 percent of your salary right or your income let's just say your net income which leaves us with the remaining 20 percent this remaining 20% is for you to spend it on your savings and for you to pay off debt. And like I said guys, that certain years are for you to have a focal point at something. Maybe you want to pay off debt during this year or maybe the sixth, during the six month period of this year, maybe by June you would have wanted to have paid off maybe your costs. Just, okay, <laughs> that's drastic. But maybe you probably want to pay off um, something, you know, maybe your clothing account or something. I think that certain years are for debt, obviously, like I said, and certain years are for savings. And sometimes if you're able to split it, maybe you can split it, maybe say 10%, you're gonna pay off your debt and maybe 10% goes to your savings. And then it's gonna be up to you on what you direct your savings to but i am a firm believer guys that when you save your money do not just save it put your money to use it. just rather than letting your money sit by use i'm not saying use it like use it mate i'm just saying put it to use maybe in such a way that you're able to benefit some form of income additional income like interest yes that's what i want to say <laughs> put your money to use in such a way that you're able to get interest in the upcoming months rather than just leaving it under the madras or I don't know what you guys do. If you have debit orders and your debit orders go off before anything, I feel like you obviously need to work on the remaining amount, like the the remainder in your bank account, and then you obviously can use the 50, 30, and 20 rule because I feel like it will make more sense then rather than just creating unrealistic goals with money that you no longer have, that you used to have. And also don't make these budgets on what you used to have and what you are yet to get work with what you have now i feel like that is why i'm saying that it's always important for you to create a budget weekly or monthly so beginning of each month i think it's very important for you to just create that budget so that you know exactly where your money is going to guys because you will if you do not do this i promise you you will feel like you have a lot of money and you are going to splurge it on things that don't matter i promise you and also another thing that i can say guys is avoid these last minute plans please like avoid these last minute plans when your friend is hitting you up at eight and says yo let's hit the club just say no especially when you know that you didn't budget for that or you did not cater for that just refuse you're not gonna die i promise you you're not like you're not gonna die when you have fomo the fomo's gonna come it's gonna end and that's all it ever is and i just truly really feel like whenever you want to go out and whenever you want to have some time for yourself and dedicate some time to your social life see exactly where your money is going and obviously like i said 30 percent of your salary will cater for that and something else that 30 percent is not only to fund your group life like it's not it's not 
be a person to give in to spending those little amounts because i know that 10 rand for example might seem quite small to you because it's just like it's just 10 rand now imagine if you actually took the 10 rand and spent it on betting how much would you have right now if you think about all that amount of money that you spent on betting for the past two years a lot right a lot i feel like also do not give in because an amount is too small for you that you think it does not have an impact because it's always these small amounts or these small decisions that actually have the greatest impact because when you calculate the accumulative figure of that amount you'll actually see how much that is and you will be surprised i mean think about saving 10 rands maybe each day because you think it's too small how much would you have at the end of the year if you actually did the savings challenge that people do on tiktok where you just put the money in the box and you wrap it up and at the end of the year how much do you think you're gonna have also i really want you guys to know that there is a lot of scammers out there so please do not fall for this thing of a person saying hey invest in 3k or this forex thing or whatever it is where people say invest in 3k and it will be 15k in three months time it's a lie be firm guys and be in control of your finances there's a lot of videos that you can actually watch on youtube and also with that being said i know that i said that i don't but i don't really like this whole concept of just saving money i believe that money should be put to use and maybe you could generate interest for the amount of time that you do not need it i feel like you also need to do um thorough research and where you invest your money because the last thing that you want is be is for you to be putting your money in these fly by night institutions or institutions that are not that don't have the necessary credentials i think it's very important that you do thorough research before you put your money into something the last thing that i want to say guys i literally got the shock of my life when i heard someone saying that they put their emergency savings in crypto i was I really don't want to lie i feel like some decisions that people make tend to be so scary because i know that a lot of people are not well informed but i also feel like sometimes guys take the time out because i know that these decisions could be so daunting and just making all of this it's just tired it's tiring you know i get it but all i'm really saying is that you really need to be on top of your game when it comes to your finances as much as you are on top of everything else you should really be on top of your game when it comes to your financial decisions because it is the smallest things that could lead to the biggest downfall i feel like this year we need to cultivate this culture of savings as a country as a community and as a family right here so that's exactly what i want to do this year i really want us to put our money to good use we'll, be, we'll just get to tap into a little things you know just a little bit more mm, <laughs> just a little bit more, more of something well certain things so that's exactly what i'm saying so when your salary or whenever you get your income whenever that amount clicks in your bank account you already know where that amount is going please i don't need stress okay so please guys i need to be proud of myself that i have imparted wisdom and knowledge and i just hope that you guys enjoyed this video please also comment down below what your saving tips are as well so that maybe other people could just um work on those as well maybe they could just give it a try and just see what works for them you know just comment and i hope it's just not scammering shanties because i don't like scammers okay yeah, so um, all that i want to say guys is don't let uh, don't allow people also to manipulate you with your money because that money is yours and you worked hard for it don't allow people to make plans with your money i feel like this year is the year for us to actually be firm you can say no you're not gonna die i promise you you're not gonna die you're gonna wake wake up tomorrow feeling fresh as ever feeling rejuvenated ready to mind your business to drink your water and continue with your day as usual so don't allow people to guilt trip you with your finances but instead let's be on top of our game for this year i feel like i really want to reach december as a collective we should reach december as a collective where we are actually proud of the decisions that we made from the beginning since this is january you guys know it's a tough month but it's also a very fresh month fresh slate clean slate new decisions this year is for good decisions this year is the year of favor this year is the year of goodness so we need to do something about it in order for it to be declared as that year said a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe in order for you to just really get more of this kind of content and for me to just pretty much help you to put your money to good use like